Hello, my name is Kai Elvers and I'm here today to talk about the LED panel, our timing measurement device for digital camera systems. Currently, in its fifth version, the LED panel uses a LED light board that offers various illumination modes and frequencies that you can adjust depending on the measurement parameters. The basic principle of the measurement is that each LED is on for a long time and by counting the lit or unlit LEDs in the captured image, the time of a particular event can be derived. The LED panel meets all the requirements from ISO standard 15781. With this device, you can evaluate parameters such as shutter lag, with and without autofocus, autofocus time, negative shooting time lag, exposure, rolling shutter, speed, frame rate, display refresh rate, and startup time. In addition to these parameters, the LED panel also includes a dimming ability, which improves its use in different light conditions, such as low light. The LED panel offers several connections on the side. With a USB connection, you can connect it to a PC and a control software. The camera trigger can be used as an input to start the LED panel. The stop trigger can be used as an input to stop the LED panel at a certain time. You can also connect it to the IQ trigger, the IQ defocus and the IQ near focus. I will now walk you through a few of the timing parameters. First, we will look at shutter speed and exposure time. Shutter speed and exposure time refer to the duration the system's shutter remains open, allowing light to reach the image sensor. We use shutter speed when talking about cameras that have mechanical shutters. Exposure time refers to cameras that do not have mechanical shutters, for example, mobile phones. Faster shutter speeds can reduce motion blur, while lower speeds allow more light to enter the camera, but can result in a blurring effect. In this case, we set the LED panel to 1 kHz, which is 1 millisecond per LED. As 41 LEDs are lit, we have an exposure time of 41 milliseconds. The next parameter is shutter time lag. With the LED panel, you can measure shutter time lag with and without autofocus. The lag represents the time interval between initiating the camera's trigger signal and the actual image capture start. To trigger the LED panel and the camera simultaneously, we can use this switch which we connect to the camera trigger input. This will be put on the release button on, of the camera. In this example, the first five LEDs are not lit, which results in a shutter lag of 5 milliseconds. To measure the autofocus time, we need a shutter time lag measurement with autofocus and without autofocus. From these two captured images, we can derive the autofocus time. This is an image captured with manual focus. As you can see, the shutter lag is 80 milliseconds. And this is an image with autofocus turned on. As you can see, the shutter lag increased to 160 milliseconds, which results in an autofocus time of 80 milliseconds. Frame rate refers to the number of individual frames the camera captures per second. Higher frame rates result in smoother motion, which can benefit video recording. By changing the frequency of the LED panel, we can see that the LEDs are moving faster or slower. Once the frequency of the frame rate or multiple is reached, the LEDs seem to stop moving. In this case, the frame rate of our shooting camera is 30 Hz, so 30 frames per second. Another feature is rolling shutter measurements. Rolling shutter describes a certain way that a sensor is read out. Depending on the difference between the first and last line read out, moving objects may show a distortion. For rolling shutter measurements, all LEDs in one column are lit at once and move either left to right or right to left, up to down or down to up. The offset of the LEDs between the lines is a result of the rolling shutter effect. This is an example of a rolling shutter. 
As you can see, the LEDs have a different offset depending on the position in the image. The LED panel comes with a software that allows you to control IQ trigger, the LED panel and run an analysis on the image series according to the different timing metric. We've also incorporated the LED panel into our multipurpose low light test chart. With this chart, you can measure the essential timing parameters in addition to a variety of image quality factors, all in one image. Altogether, the LED panel is a powerful solution for camera timing measurements and has become one of our most popular products. For more information on the LED panel, visit our website or contact our sales team. Thank you.